everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today, um, Guileen325 um, kind of tagged us all in our stamping group um, to do this um, being a nail polish YouTuber tag. So this is really fun. It's the first tag I've ever been tagged in. So I'm really excited to do it. And um, so let's get started with the questions. Um, what's the best part about being a nail polish YouTuber? I think the best part about being a nail polish YouTuber is doing my nails. I love doing my nails. I love doing nail art. I actually love sharing my designs and um, nail art and swatches and everything with everyone. I really love doing that. So I guess that's, that's just really fun. I love getting in front of the, the camera and doing my nail art and sharing it with everybody. What's the worst part about being a nail a nail polish YouTuber. Um, sorry about that. Um, let's see. The worst part I would think is all the links in the description box below. I know those are super important to people and I think, I think they're important as well. So, um, I like to put the links in there and they did, they're just time consuming. I think I've got it down to a science now though. I kind of keep, um, like a, like a, Word document and I do a lot of copying and pasting now so it's not too overly bad another bad part would be when you forget to turn the camera on or you think the camera's on and you're filming and you're not really filming that is really bad or if you accidentally delete your, your film and it's only happened to me once I think well actually <laughs> happened to me twice I actually deleted an entire I don't even know where the heck happened to it um, but an entire, it was like swatches of entire nail polish line that I had gotten. And, ugh, I still haven't redone it. And I accidentally deleted a, fil a video that I already had on YouTube by accident. I deleted it off of YouTube. So I wasn't really happy about that either. So I am going to upload it again. But I'm going to do like a little different intro, intro for that. You guys probably have seen it. <laughs> Let's see, um, what are your favorite films to do? I think my favorite is nail art, and I really hope to do a, um, a vlog at Polish Con in September in Chicago. I'm really hoping to go, and if I go, I'm going to hopefully vlog. Hopefully I won't forget to vlog, so that's on my radar. <laughs> Let's see, um... A new nail polish YouTube channel that you enjoy watching. I think I like watching my friend at Glitter Nails for me. I love her stuff. She's really great. And my other friend, G Nails underscore 14. I'll link them both in the description box below. She's new and she's really actually really great too. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, both of you are tagged to do a video like this. So. I'll put the questions down below. I want to see your videos. <laughs> Let's see. And what's your friends and family think of you being a nail polish YouTuber? Well, most of my family just ignores the fact that I'm on YouTube. They don't acknowledge it at all. When I try to talk about, you know, nail art and how I did a video or showing them my pictures, they have no comment at all. I have no idea. They're crazy, let me tell you. Um, my daughter, though, she loves it. She actually was Googling something, and I came up with one of my videos on Google, and she's like, Mom, you're famous. That was really cool. And uh, my my best friend, she she thinks that's really cool that I do nail art, so that's pretty cool, too. That's really nice. They're very supportive, the two of them. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, a memorable comment on your channel. Well, all my comments are just really great and really wonderful, and I love them. Um, Nia from Nillipod always, always just comments fantastically wonderful, encouraging comments for me. They're really nice. Um, one of my subscribers, Brenda, she always has really, really nice comments. I enjoy watch, reading her comments. And let's see. Oh, um, Glitter Nails for me called me a genius <laughs> with one of my new nail techniques. That was pretty cool. But all my comments are just are actually just really wonderful and really nice, and I love them all. What are your plans for your channel? Good question. Um, finally, I got my act together, and I, you know, I was just like always trying to put out a lot of videos and stuff like that. And I'm one person. 
I can only paint my nails so many times during a week. Um, but I'm finally ahead of the game enough that I can bring you two videos a week. That would be one on Tuesdays, and that would be the YouTubers Nail Art Weekly Stamping Collab. And if I join that, I mean, I have joined it every single week so far, except for maybe one. So that's my plan is to keep going with that. The only reason that I wouldn't join a collab is if something came up and I couldn't do it or I don't have that particular plate for the, you know, the collab idea that they're doing. That would be, that would probably be the only way that I wouldn't have one. But maybe I'll just fill in with a different video for that day. And Thursdays. Thursdays could be anything. Um, it could be nail art. It could be stamping. could be quick and easy stamping. could be a new technique. So um, those are good. Swatches and hauls are going to be extra. Um, that'll be an extra whenever I have those videos. Those will be extra and they'll be on a Saturday or a Sunday. So those will just be bonus videos for the month. So those are my plans and I would also like to get to a thousand subscribers and it'd be nice to do that before this time next year but I don't know about that <laughs> help me out subscribe just hit the button right now <laughs> I'll wait <laughs> also hit the little like thing down there too that little thumbs up do a thumbs up okay <laughs> let's see um what's on your nails today Nothing. Nothing is on my nails except for um, Dury Rejuva Coat to keep them really, really strong when I don't have gel nail polish on. Um, I meant to do a nail. I meant to do nail art this week, but I was busy working on getting my Tuesday video up, and it just took a lot longer than to upload than I planned, and so then I actually had no time to do my nails and. Tomorrow, I'm doing my nails for my collab next week. So, anyways, that's my plan. Right now, nothing. I don't have anything on my fingers. I wish there were something on there. I had a really good Manny plan, too. Ugh, I didn't get to it. Um, Let's see. A brand that's impressing you right now. I like Wave Gel. I like gel nail polish. It's just so much easier to do nail art, and you can just do everything with it. Um, you don't need Sharpies. You don't need paint. You can just do everything with gel. So I love my gel nail polish, and I love Wave Gel. Wave Gel is very affordable. They sell um, their nail polishes in matching sets, so you get a lacquer and a gel, and that's completely awesome in case, you know, you're out and you chip a nail or you want to do your toes or, you know, whatever. You've got... Or, decals you want to make decals you've got a lacquer to make decals um actually i think right in about now you can make decals with gel polish too i think there's a way but um i haven't done that i think maybe it gets hard i don't really know <laughs> haven't tried that yet but um i like wave gel and their price point is really good um the regular price was 10.99 and I have 10% off. I'll stick that in the description box below. Um, so that was a good, actually, that was a good price. Um, $10.99, 10% off for two gels. However, recently, I think it started sometime at the end of last year, and it's still going on. They've um, lowered the price point to, um, to kind of get other people interested in their brand and to try it out. So they're now $8.50 for a set. And um, they have they have the matching gel and lacquer sets, but they also have cat eye now, and they also have they've always had mood gel. So that those are completely awesome, and those are eight fifty. And with my ten percent off, that comes to seven sixty five. Best thing yet, they don't charge for shipping. Your order you can order one nail polish and you'll get free shipping. There is no minimum, no maximum that you have to order to get the free shipping, but it is to the US only. That's the only drawback. Um, but I live in the US, so <laughs> that that's what anyways, anyways, I just really like their company. Um, I've tried other gel brands and and then I thought, why did I buy those more expensive gels when I could have gotten basically the same thing from J Wave Gel, so I was kind of kicking myself for doing that, because now I've got a bunch of other expensive things, and ugh. Um, I also like Kira Sky a lot, um, but I'm mainly into their glitters. 
um, because Wave Gel doesn't have a lot of glitter toppers. So I am super into Kira Sky for the glitters. However, for their matching sets is $12. So $12 compared to $7.65. Yeah. Anyways, I just, I did like a huge purchase of Wave Gel. I think I have just about every color that I want. So from there now, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. What do you think of your current collection as a whole? Well, I think they're a pretty good collection. I don't think it's too crazy or anything like that. I, yeah, I do have a lot of gel nail polish but I like to polish my nails and I think maybe I went overboard in the pinks <laughs> yeah maybe I did I feel like a lot of pinks I don't know what got into me but I have a lot of them I don't know why I felt the need to have a, every shade of pink that wave gel just about made <laughs> but I did I don't know I think that's probably my only really like wild wild thing um, the rest of it I got pretty cheap um, on sales or from beauty supply places or like really good sales. Like when I was into lacquer, I bought a bunch of um, Zoya, but it was like buy one set and get two sets free. So I don't spend a crazy lot. I'm a really good bargain shopper. I like to get a bargain. So a lot of my nail art stuff that all comes from eBay for 99 cents, um, you know, I just... I hit the sales, I hit the bargains, I keep it cheap, so, or inexpensive, it's not cheap, not cheap stuff, but it's inexpensive, so I can afford to have a little bit, you know, a little bit extra, a lot maybe, I don't know, I don't think it's too much though, not really, but that is it, so I hope you like this, um, remember, glitter nails for me, and G nails, you guys are tagged. <laughs> So I hope you liked this video. If you did and you haven't given a thumbs up yet, what are you waiting for? Give it a thumbs up. Um, be a subscriber. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.